Help is on the way. Silver Spoon and Silver Veil, guys. We have a strong start. We have a strong start. Help is on the way. Hey, here we go. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad, right? Just commit to it, no? Commit to freaking Kale. Kale with triple blue. The new patch creation, right? One of the big new comps that got created with the new patch. It already got nerfed in a B patch a day later, which was yesterday. But I already tried it today. And I already performed really well with it, and I didn't even have an emblem. Yeah. So now we can try it with the emblem. Should be really, really good. Should be extremely good. Our items are a little bit cringe, but they're okay. We can go Redemption, Ionic Spar. As a Redemption, Ionic Spar. Kaisa offers you an item remover with infinite uses or gold. Give me the gold, girl. Take that. <laughs> nice. You go full blue, guys. Triple blue. Like a baboos. You go triple blue, guys. And you're good to go, man. No cap. This is great. Two-star Garen, and I'm I'm chilling. Already five-story Beaver. Going Redemption for sure. Going Ionic Spark for sure. And then we could go uh, I really a carry or something with this. Or we can just... Like, usually you could re-roll, but I don't think I'll re-roll because I don't have the best items for re-roll. This guy's contesting, but again, it's fine. Like, if we're not re-rolling, it's fine. Uh, we are on loot subscription, so of course, getting... Um, getting the spatula is nice. Uh, the thing is, I high-rolled Zyra, so he doesn't have that. Oh, he has Zoe, though. He's missing something, though. He's so strong. Nah, my Kale is gonna one-shot, right? My Kale is one-shotting. I also have two-star girl. Look, my Kale is gonna BAM! A one-shot. Let's go! Huge. By the way, even if we don't get 10 story viewer this game, it's extremely strong to have spatulas. Why? Because it allows you to play more Sage. The whole point of this comp is the Kale gets so much damage on her ult, she's gonna one-shot everything. So what you can do is you put her frontline, or not frontline, in this in this position, and what that does is Sage is gonna give her Omnivamp instead of AP. In the back she gets AP, right? In the front, the units get Omnivamp. And if you can play like 4 Sage, you get 30% Omnivamp. That's really insane. That is really freaking insane, guys. So every spatula you have, or every Story Beaver emblem you have, makes your team much better. Because you can bitch some trash unit like Sivir and play another Sage unit. And then the Kale just becomes like a Giga Tank. She... 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 Um, unless she... She can get one shot, so it's a little bit risky. But as long as she doesn't get one shot, she will just keep omnivamping back up. This is one of the new comps. They already nerfed it hard, because it was a little bit, not bugged, but it was weird. It would just, while she's in the front, she would like hit past the backline. Like she would target the backline, but it would hit the, the backline, the, or she would target the enemy frontline. But it would hit the enemy backline as well, which is really awkward. Sad, bro. I'm probably just going to use love for tempo. Remember, you don't need items here because you have. Uh, you just need tank items and ionic spark. Oh my! I will not hold her. What the frick is this? Uh huh? I mean, it's just well deserved, guys. It is well deserved, guys. It really is. It is, though. It is. I would say it is. I, I guess I just sell her. Like, the earliest we need damage items is when we have Irelia, which is late game, right? Again, this comp is really cool. I already tried it once after the patch earlier. 
Um, I'll probably... That game was good, but it was good because of other reasons. So I'll probably... That game probably won't have the title of uh, Kale thingy, right? Like, it was a good Fast 9 game. We'll see here. Maybe this will be the Kale Showcase game. In the other game, I played it as well, but I had an insane Irelia as well, right? So that's probably the title. In the YouTube video. Okay, we can sell the, the Sivir because we don't have any damage items for Irelia that she needs to item hold. Sivir's rallying cry makes you speedy. That does not matter. It gives me time to check out things, though. Still has spatula. Still has spatula. Still has spatula. Probably gonna go mythic. This guy, fine vintage, wants a uh, thing emblem. Holy frick, these people are strong. This is the guy contesting me, and that's it. That's not bad. Can't sell anything here. I could level, but it's a little bit expensive. It's not worth. Alright. Good. We're looking good here. Redemption Ionic Spark on um, Galio. If you want to play the reroll version, which is you sit at level 7 and you 3 star Riven, you 3 star uh, Zyra, you 3 star Zoe, and you 3 star uh, probably Soraka or, or, and, uh, and Ilawi, right? Um, if you want to play that version, you need uh, Static Shave on Zoe because it gives her assists, the Static Shave, and then she gets more bounces on her ult. But other than that, you just go Ionic Spark, and then you should not frontline the girl, usually. You're not going to frontline the girl then, Kale, because you don't have Sage. You will not have enough Sage. Yes, I know, after the nerf, it doesn't hit the backline anymore, but I'm telling you, it's still good to get the Omni Vamp. It's still good to get the Omnivamp. I'm pretty sure it's good. I, I still like the front line. That's what I do. That's what I do at least. I, I tried it a couple games ago. She was not getting one shot. Like maybe one out of five fights she got one shot. And every other fight she just lifesteal back up to full. And because she's getting hit in the front line she gets more mana to ult more often. So it worked really well for me at least. We're on a full win streak as well. I don't need this yet. Sell this. We have a Hodge. This is kind of bad. It's kind of bad, but it's whatever. Let's see what this is. Please be an item component. Holy frick. That is very lucky. Deserved. We can play a second thing. Look. 170 AP. 165 AP. For every star level that you get, which, you know, one star Zyra. Another one star Zyra is basically two star levels of the of these units, right? Of these story weaver units, you get more AP on her. And health as well. So this is good. That's why three starring your Zoe and stuff is good for this comp. It helps the Kale be stronger. Which is very nice. Oh just trash. Oh just trash for sure, bro. This guy's just hard for Simeone with Heavenly. That makes sense, of course, yeah. That makes perfect sense. Oh, frick it, I'll just hold the unit. Frick that guy. Okay, we get another Story Weaver emblem. Make it easy, bro. Come on. Just give me a Story Weaver emblem. Make it easy as frick. And a Zoe in the shop. We get three Story Weaver. We win the game already. Come on. We go level 10. We get another Story Weaver emblem at some point from loot subscription. And we win the game. Come on. Come on, baby boy. Boom! You're gonna make it even easier? Ah. Crazy to reroll idealism, right? While having this, you know, obviously, uh... Every two takedowns, Story Viewer Kale permanently gains two ability power and 12 health. You gain a Garen and Ribbon. Thank you. I'm Zoe. What's your name? I'm Zoe. What's your name? Zoe, you piece of garbage. Shut the freak up. Okay, hold up. Um... I don't really need Garen. Am I leveling here? No, right? Impossible. Am I playing Zoe instead of Zyra? So the second Zyra, probably. I feel like Zyra is better. Zoe is not gonna get a single kill. I'm thinking about playing Ilawi instead of Jax, but Jax is two star. So I think it's more worth having a two star from like. Ilawi is too squishy. But then we could get uh, Arcanist, right? Which would give us uh, 20 AP on the, on the whole team. 
You can see that Kale is doing really well. She's gonna get a lot of takedowns as well. With the thing. I'm gonna lose this fight though, for sure. Yeah, it's freaking uh, ghostly, ghostly, super insane spike early game, right? Maybe I'm supposed to play Zoe and... Like, I can move, because I have a new Garen, I can move the items, right? Because I have a new Garen, I mean, this is just Sage, right? There we have it. We just play this, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it's for sure just Sage here. So let's just play this. We're holding a Garen and a Ribbon. Ribbon, if we want to move the Thieves Love at some point, right? To something better, maybe? We'll see. I don't think there's gonna be anything better than Ribbon. Because, I mean, there will be, right? There's like Wukong, but I don't know if I'm playing Wukong. I don't know if I'm playing Wukong, you know? I have all the Story Weavers, I just need another emblem. Like a Baus, guys. I don't think we're getting an emblem, though, that easily, right? For every takedown, she's gonna get AP, guys. That is just great, isn't it? 153, it's really bugged though, like look, she has so little AP right now. It's really bugged, she should have way more than this. Is she gonna, is she gonna kill her? Uh, like, didn't she have more AP earlier? 160 now all of a sudden? <laughs> it's so buggy, right? Um, I'm last pick, bro, I'm, or I'm second last pick, I'm not. Oh, but this guy is also last pick, and this is the other uh, story viewer guy. Loki, I can get this. I'm back if I get this. Sad. He took it. Am I just going double thieves glove? I mean, I'm down for double thieves glove. Like, what else am I am I really building here, right? Like, what other items am I building? Nothing really. I had it fluctuate from 190 to 160. Yeah, yeah it's just so buggy. It really is, bro. Like, I feel like Thieves' Glove is just good here. I mean, strongest board is Thieves' Glove on him. But I have a pair, so I should get this eventually. We definitely level here. Should play another, uh, play a Zoe, I guess. Play another Zyra. Again, I, th I think Zyra adds more single target damage than Zoe, so... Um, we just want to kill units, right? Just want to kill units ASAP. Finish, uh, finish the units after Kale pokes them low. This guy has insane I really items, perfect I really items already. He's also going fast nine, right? I think I'm in a better position though. This is really insane. Having call to adventure is disgusting. Ideally, of course, you want it as a first augment. This blue kale build became so good because of her buff to her uh, bonus damage on this. It went from 20 or 30% to 50% bonus damage on the ult, and that's just really strong. That was just a little bit too strong. Ghostly. I have a new Garen, but I feel like, like I need Garen 2-star late game, right? That's the problem. You need Garen 2-star. Nah, I'm down to just play this. You need Garen 2-star, so I'm not gonna itemize it. And you need... Like, you need all these two stars, again, for the star levels, right? 186 AP. 186. 50% bonus damage is insane on this. But again, it looks not too over... Oh, Caretaker's ally, Yorick, into Raid Boss. That's hilarious, man. That is just filthy. So he just gets a free Yorick 3-star from, from Silver Caretaker's ally. But Loki, we can beat him. Like, if we just all gang up on him. We're just all ganging up on him. And we have heal reduction from Zyra. Ah, it doesn't look like we can beat him, man. Ah, he has two star Aphelios as well, that's fine. Okay, we're farming up AP, this is good. Nice, that's huge. Dragon Lord, for sure. Someone is asking if um, Janna stronger than two Zyras. I didn't see I had a Janna in the shop. For sure, yeah. Dragon Lord for sure better than double Zyra. Didn't see I had a Janna in the shop. Okay, we're chilling though. We're doing well. Bow is good for Irelia. Uh, 
a rebuff. Great. No, no spatula, man. I mean, it's money. It's not bad. I mean, Loki, I can level and just play him with rep buff. That doesn't sound too bad to me, man. I'm just gonna play him right now. And then Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge. That's not too bad, right? We're going pretty crazy with the front line through the Thieves' Gloves. This guy's really strong and has Ionix, uh, has uh, Dragon Claw. We do have Ionic Spark, but still, it's a very tanky Chuga. And we do we have a lot of AoE damage, but no single target, right? That's what we lack with the scale build. It's a lot of AoE one-shot burst, but tanks, you struggle killing tanks, for sure. Three-star Kale is gonna two-shot them, though, because she does so much damage. Because remember, at uh, seven Story Weaver, you get a double ult. She ults twice. You know, that's so good. Is Radiant Rep off the best item for Irelia? Does Cybernetic Uplink work on Kale or no? Does anyone know if Cybernetic Uplink works on Kale? Hello? Does anyone know? No, it doesn't. Are you sure? Because Jewel Lotus works. Yeah, but it probably doesn't. No, I tried it. Okay. I think it's just stationary, right? I mean, it's not Golden Egg, bro. I'm, I'm going level 9. Like, I'm, I'm not sitting here. <sighs> Jesus, bro. I should have leveled... Okay, that is the craziest dummy you can get for this scale, no? That is the filthiest dummy you can get. That is literally the filthiest dummy you can get, man. GG! We win for free! Deserved. Well deserved, by the way. I should have leveled. Dragon Lord can make a big difference there. Because we need to not just preserve health, we also need to kill enemies to get the uh, thing. Or oh, what if it, this is Kha'Zix encounter? I, I'll be so mad. Oh nice, 20, 20 XP. We take those. <laughs> oh. That's well, to uh, well guys? <laughs> well, well, well. Wait, what am I what am I supposed to play? Oh yeah, yeah, this thing. Okay. There we go, she's three star now. We don't have a lot of sage though, so I'm not gonna frontline her. I'm, okay, are we supposed to from- I think we are, man, because she's gonna get so much AP from her own augment that I'm pretty sure I just want Omni Vamp on her. It's way better. Look, she's not healing at all. Like, she dies more in the backline, but like, it's not worth yet because it's only 2 Sage. 12% is not much, but 20, especially 30% is gonna be quite insane. So I think at that point, we definitely play Sage. 100%. Or 100% we frontline her. I think. I could be wrong, of course, but it looks good to me. That way, the dummy is also in the second line. Which is pretty good. Do I just go Adaptive Helm on him? It's not that efficient. It's like meh, but like what else do I do? It's fine, right? It's fine. It's definitely okay. Uh, 
<sighs> there was no sword for Infinity Edge, unfortunately. Uh, th th this girl gives attack speed around her. I recently found out as well. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, this is gonna be insane, no? This is gonna be insane, yeah. I'm freaking back, guys. We win those. We win those. We just need one, uh, I really are one Wukong, one this thing. And we win those. So we level up. We level up. We play Wukong, I really are, right? We kick this guy, yeah. Level up, play Wukong, I really are, kick this guy. Um, kick one of these and play Morgana, yeah. Nice, we'll be four Sage already. We'll have, uh, we'll have 30% Omnivamp. That's insane. Yeah, that's insane, bro. How much AP does she have right now? Of course, she got much more from the 3-star upgrade. But yeah, 310 right now. 310, let's see how much she farms over the next, like... Like, the entire next stage, right? Let's see how much she farms. How is the other uh, story viewer guy doing? He's doing really well, too. Oh, no, this is not him. This guy's him. He's... 20 health less than me, but he didn't high roll the augment. That's insane. That's just stupid. We're just giga high rolling at this point. Deserved though. Very well deserved, by the way. Very well deserved. It is well deserved. It is. Yeah. Three sage already situated. We just need one Irelia to have an actual carry. We're good to go, guys. GG. The slot machine. Yeah, the slot machine is smiling upon us. This guy is just playing Aphelios reroll or something. He's holding Irelia. Oh, no, he's trying to play Irelia. He wants to play Irelia two-star. That's a problem. I mean, one-star Irelia, I'm stable. I just go level 10. Level 10, I just add Rakan for Dragon Lord. Altruist. Yeah, we're good to go. Well, this guy's gonna win the game though. He's Mr. 100 or something, or almost Mr. 98. I mean, look how much he's beating. Look, look how much he's capping the lobby. Well, hopefully, he's the only one that's holding Irelia. The other guy is not making it to level. Actually, he's trying to make it to level 9. I mean, he'll make it to level 9. That's a problem. I mean, Thieves' Glove is fine on these guys. It's worse on this. It's worse on everything else. Irelia has items. Wukong is gonna get actual items as well eventually. But, I mean, Thieves' Love on Wukong is still good, though. Uh, but then I don't really have an, a, any way to scale my team afterwards, because at some point I have three Irelia items. Like, probably right now, actually. Nice, I got Infinity Edge. Okay, I didn't get full Irelia items. No place is safe while I'm free. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? I never rest. Okay, is it my fault? No. Nope. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? I don't think it's my fault, guys. Not a single I really are, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, <sighs> this game's not very good. At least I get blue buff by uh, Wukong. Bro, like, I need Irelia. Like, it's so bad without Irelia. Pretty sure I have to sell this thing. Like, I need Irelia, man, right? Like, obviously, I'm doing still fine. I'm probably get, gonna get a top three, but I need a top two. This guy's first, right? He high rolled too hard. Uh, raid boss. I, it's too high roll. He's holding two Irelias. He's level 750. He didn't even roll and found two Irelias. He didn't even roll. I rolled 50 gold. Heart is empty without empathy. Alright, thank you, man. Legends are told in word and deed. Who am I ditching, by the way? I can ditch somebody, right? Zoe? Probably Zoe, right? Because, like, what, what, there's no sorcerer. 
I'm not ditching Zyra, she's Sage. I'm not ditching frontline units. Like, Garen is worthless, but he's Garen. It's still frontline. Zoe is completely worthless. Zoe has no impact, and Sivir gives attack speed to Kale and to uh, Irelia. I need to fix my positioning, but it's gonna be really good. And now we have 30% Omnivamp. We have a bunch of AP on the Sage bonus, right? So she has a lot of AP right now, but it's just a Sage bonus. We, we, we won't have that. It's like the Sage bonus is 45 AP, but again, I think the Omnivamp is more important. So the way you can position this is like this. Right? Redemption next to her. Like this. And now the attack speed is on both of these. Uh, it's not that bad. It's really not bad. I mean, it's really not bad. It looks good to me, man. And now I'm just going to level 10. Straight. Straight to level 10. Unless I just try... I, I just need to clinch a top 2, right? So I need to roll for 2 stars. And now look, the Omnivamp is going to be crazy. And she gets hit a little bit by random AOEs to get mana. I mean, she didn't get hit at all. Like, this guy is so weak, man. This is embarrassing. Yeah. And she still has 390 AP. I feel reduction. I'm actually insane. This guy's dead. Not yet. He found Irelia as well. There's Irelia on bench. There's a Story Weaver emblem. He's gonna take it and th then die. That's not fun. You're gonna take it and die. Or he's gonna take Irelia. Wait, he didn't take it. I'm back. Freaking, I high roll another one. Freaking, I high roll another one. I'm back. I, I don't even need to. The thing is, I need to be level 10 for 10 Story Weaver. But this is good. We can ditch Garen now for uh, Rakan. So having Rakan is good now. But now I don't want to roll anymore. Now I would rather just give this to somebody. But I can't even give it to anybody. I would have to give it to Wukong, which is kind of disgusting. Because it's gonna bu buff up my Kale. I think I'm gonna leave it on bench, which is a little bit greedy. But like... I'm gonna leave it on bench. It's a little bit greedy. Like, it, because Wukong is a two-star, so he's gonna give 10 AP. He's gonna give 10 AP to the, to the Kale. But I'm just gonna say, frick that 10 AP. Because I would, like... If I have this on Wukong, I can't scale my team anymore. I need three item Wukong. But I mean, if I go 10 and I hit 10 Story Beaver, I want... No, but like, if I go 10, I hit Rakan, I give this to Rakan, and then I play, um... I play Soraka. I play Soraka for Triple Altruist and Heavenly. That's also a good scaler, right? And then I have triple item Wukong. He's actually really strong, and we just won. We're just winning against everybody right now. Kale is doing so much damage, right? I mean, it's good. It's good. It's really good. It seems like to be in a good state balance-wise. Because obviously this game, I high rolled so hard. So, if I just win, yeah. Yeah, I beat Ray Boss, right? But didn't, didn't I fight Ghost? I fought Ghost. I fought Ghost, bro. It's not even that good. I fought Ghost. Kane for Garen. For what? For ghostly? Bro, come on. But also, I sold Zoe, right? So even if I get an emblem, I need to find Zoe. But I'll find Zoe. That's why I wanted to sell Zoe instead of Garen as well. If I sell Garen, I'll never find him at level 9 or 10. The thing is, can I even reach level 10? I mean, I can. I can. I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. This was a good win. Okay, it looks like it was the right decision. Because I really have two contests that I just go level 10. I'm chilling, bro. Oh, now I found this guy, though, and I found her. That's kind of silly. I mean, now I just play him instead of this, and I just give him this. I just do this. Okay, this positioning looks really awkward. Maybe it's just this. But then I'm not giving attack speed to this guy. That can't be right. I mean, now I, 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 I think I have to just frontline the Zyra, man. I'm frontlining Zyra, bro. I have to just frontline Zyra, no cap. Like, I want the attack speed on Wukong, right? For sure. Guardbreaker or something. Or oh, Ginsu's. I got a billion gold. Is it Hurricane or Ginsu's, man? Is it Hurricane or Ginsu's? 
I feel like Hurricane is better. But... The thing about Ginsu's is... I, I think it's Ginsu's. The thing is, Ginsu's is not gonna scale. Oh, I just level here, right? And then I just frontline this. I mean, this is Giga Cap, bro. I think I win the game now. Uh, this is Giga Cap. This is Maximum Cap KL3. This is Maximum Cap KL3, man. With her carry augment, this is just too insane. I got one shot. My, I really got one shot. I think I lose. But I have Omni Vamp, prick it. Oh my god! Oh, I, I'm winning this. Like, the, the Wukong can clean up. 19k, 19k, guys. The Omni Vamp is insane. It's for sure the Omni Vamp, bro. Like, it's way better. This guy fumbled the bag. He's losing. He's low key losing. He fumbled the bag. He's playing Ginsu's Giant Slayer, freaking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's playing Ginsu's Giant Slayer. He fumbled it. He got a free win, fumbled it. There's no way this is the right build, right? This is complete trash. Like, blue buff, blue buff Giant Slayer on, on this guy, Radiant the Thieves Love on this guy. Use your brain, buddy. But I might still lose, right? Because it's Udyr 2 is Udyr 2, man. It's so tanky. Udyr 2 is Udyr 2. He has all the legendaries 2-star. I, I can still scale my team, though. His job should be to hold Irelia's now. If I get 2-star Irelia, I win for sure, right? But he's not doing it as well. He's fumbling the bag. He's fumbling the bag, brother, man. He's fumbling it. We get the win for free. G, 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 G. Uh, I already have 2-star Idiot. 2-star Idiot, 2-star Idiot. Just need Rakan now. Just need Rakan, Soraka for more AP. 2-star. Where's Soraka? More AP from the Heavenly Bonus. Should I just jam her in the corner? I, bro, I probably just jam her over here so my, I really are as isolated or as isolated as possible. So she doesn't get AoE. This guy's really strong. Loki, he could also win the game. But I feel like I'm fine. Like, th this is. This Kale actually can one shot Yoni. This Kale can actually one shot Yoni. I mean, this is one slot. Uh, this is uh, Ghost, so. Look. Look, look, look. He almost got one shot. <laughs> nah, this is dumb. I mean, obviously, this is still strong, but it's not beyond broken. The video where I'll showcase it the first time, you'll see that it's not beyond broken, because I didn't just win the game for free and it, it was a really good game but this game is like insanely good right no no emblem sag no emblem for me sag that's pretty sad guys yeah that's pretty sad is there a good item i think i'm just going steadfast steadfast on vukong he has a lot of uh healing he has a lot of healing, it's not even that bad. Like, what else What else was there, right? That was complete trash items. Oh, bro, are you serious? Hello? Hello? What the frick is this roll down, man? Why, oh, whatever. We lost the game. Not really, I think we win without anything. I think we just win this, right? Like, look. 30% Omni Vamp on Kale. She's too good, right? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yone is dead. Oh, frick. The cane just won me nine. Oh, the cane just won me nine. I definitely need two stars. I definitely need my two stars, man. I need my two stars. He's holding Irelia. The other guy got third. The other guy, Giga, fumbled it. I'm gonna lock. Like, what if I get um, Story Weaver Emblem, right? And then I'm selling my uh, Garen. That doesn't seem smart, guys. What if I get Story Weaver Emblem from the last drop? So what is he doing? What is he doing? I'm gonna put the Kale over here, like Giga aggressive, Giga aggressive, close to them so they get one shot. Break it, Giga aggro. Oh, they go one shot. Oh, 
the damage is done. I think this guy cannot 1v9. I think he cannot 1v9. Ah, can he though? I have Wukong. I still have Wukong. I really are going crazy. He's not that OP. He's not that OP. Nice. Don't need to lock. Perfect. Good positioning. Now he's sweating. I move back. He doesn't know what the frick is happening to him. I'm a freaking babus. Zoe. I know I need Zoe, yeah. I know I need Zoe. I know, I know. But I, I can maybe find Zoe, right? But if I sell Garen, I can never find him. That's over, right? Level 10. I can find Zoe at level 9. Uh, level 10. Bro, maybe, yeah. It's worth trying. How can anyone low roll this hard? How is this even possible, man? Bro, I just didn't improve my team at all. I just didn't couldn't even improve my team. How is it even possible to low roll this hard, by the way? Guard breaker on him for sure. Counters Yone. Yone has a huge shield. I moved back. I might lose this fight. He, he moved again though. Maybe we can still win. Somehow. We have two star Rakan this time, which is a big difference as well. Here's my Kale more AP. She also got more AP from the things. She has 439 AP. 439 AP, she wiped his board. Let's go, guys! Huge! Deserved! This is really fun, man. This is definitely my favorite change to the new patch. This one-shot Kale is really fun. And again, it looked OP here, but I was level 10. I had two Story Weaver emblems, which allows me to play three Altruist and four Sage, which gives me just insane Omni Vamp, insane resistances. Like, I had perfect items on Irelia. I have perfect freaking uh, Galio as well with Ionic Spark and ta uh, Super Tanky. I, I don't know, bro. We just have everything. And then we have the Carry Augment, right? We just have everything, bro. Level 10, like, it, it, it's understandable. It's understandable that it seems strong. It seems like it's well balanced. Maybe it's OP, but I don't think so. Like, two Story Weaver emblems are hard to get, right? Subscribe ring Haitian Bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.